Philip Felix thought he was doing a good deed when he took in a homeless couple. But six weeks later, he was in the county jail, charged with three felonies and looking at years in prison. He says a false police report turned his life upside down. It actually took one tenacious defense attorney to get to the bottom of it. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez has his story now of redemption because it all backfired on me. They say no good deed goes unpunished. Philip Felix knows that all too well. I took it upon myself to help them out. Big mistake. Big mistake. Big mistake. Back in October, Philip opened his heart and his home to this homeless couple, Harry Pinckney and Megan Soto. Philip spotted them outside of Walgreens in Clearwater and decided to help them out. Soto was about eight months pregnant. The couple stayed in his spare room in his condo. They were very quiet until themselves at first. But that didn't last. Phillips says the two fought so much, even his dog Bailey was on edge. When she's staying in my room, in my closet, that means she's scared of something. Six weeks later, Philip had had enough. He told the couple they had to go. But a day later, Soto and Pinckney returned with a police officer and a wild story. Soto claimed Philip attacked her with a knife. The officer believed her and arrested Philip. He was now facing felony charges. He would also lose his job at a nearby hospital. A story's being told that I am a hospital worker who attacks a pregnant woman. And how do I come back from that? While Philip was locked up for four days, he says the couple ransacked his home and headed straight for a pawn shop. Philip knew he was innocent and hired defense attorney Bjorn Brunvon to prove it. Bjorn met with Megan Soto and got her to come clean. He says, it's all a lie. I made it up. Prosecutors dropped the charges. The judge apologized to Philip and had a few biting words for Soto. This man was deprived of his liberty and put in jail on three violent felonies that will forever be on his record. So that's why I'm I'm trying to wrap my mind around why this young lady's not wearing charm bracelets. So far, no one is facing charges. As for Philip, he still believes in helping others. These days, however, he's just a little wiser. And even though there's a lot of good in the world, there is definitely an evil. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Well, Soto told authorities that she lied because her boyfriend threatened to harm her and her baby, her unborn baby, if she didn't.